There are certain tropes that come package and parcel in horror, like jump scares, grotesque gore, and creative kills. Though scenes like this can be petrifying in the moment, there's no reason to be freaked out once the credits roll. However, some filmmakers will not rest until their work isn't just creepy, but potentially traumatizing. With that being said, I'm Jem from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 more most unnerving shots in horror movies. Number 10, a real eye-opener in 28 Days Later. Despite the fact Zombie Thriller 28 Days Later has its fair share of brutality, the most gruesome moment has nothing to do with the infected creature. After main characters Jim, Selena, and Hannah are rescued by a group of soldiers, they assume the nightmare is finally over. Sadly, the nightmare has only just begun. When Jim learns the soldier's leader Henry West plans to turn women into sex slaves to repopulate the world, he realizes the infected are the least of his problems. As a result, Jim and his companions attempt to escape from Henry's headquarters. While Henry wrestles with Selena, he's distracted long enough to give Jim the opportunity to repeatedly smash his head into a brick wall. Even though Henry is barely conscious by this point, Jim doesn't think the sicko has suffered enough. Fitting him to the ground, Jim burrows his thumbs into Henry's eye sockets, causing him to let out an animalistic shriek. As satisfying as it is to witness Henry get what he deserved, it's almost unbearable to watch his agonizing death. Number 9. Skinned Victims in Predator In Predator, Vietnam vet Dutch Schaefer and his unit are tasked with a top secret mission in a South American jungle. When Dutch's subordinate Billy sees something lurking in a tree, he approaches it with caution, blade in hand. As he pushes the plants out of the way, Billy discovers three skinned corpses dangling from a tree branch. Just to make sure this reveal is as nerve-wracking as possible, it is accompanied by a blaring sound effect and a cacophony of cawing crows. Although most jump scares are less scary after the original shock wears off, this moment becomes more eerie with every passing moment. The fact that the predator stripped the flesh off these green berets proves the creature is vicious, merciless, and efficient. Rather than leaving the corpses on the ground, the alien hunter took the time and effort to hang them from a high tree, indicating an immense level of strength and coordination. Also, the predator left his prey in the open because he wants them to be found. This behavior proves the dreadlocked beast is intelligent, methodical, strategic, and sadistic. Predator has a barrage of haunting visuals, but few moments are as spine-tingling as this one. Number 8. The Man-Faced Dog in Invasion of the Body Snatchers In Philip Kaufman's Invasion of the Body Snatchers, lab scientist Elizabeth and her friend Matthew discover thousands of the city's people have been taken over by emotionless extraterrestrials called pod people. What differentiates this remake from the 1956 original is its focus on cerebral horror. Although every scene is drenched in paranoia, it's the WTF images that leave the biggest impression. Even though there are many creepy visuals, there's one in particular that immediately springs to mind. Near the climax, Elizabeth and Matthew try to blend in with the pod people by displaying no emotion. However, Elizabeth can't help but scream when a human-faced dog trots up to her. This practical effect doesn't look 100% convincing, but this works in the movie's favor since this abominable hybrid is supposed to appear unnatural. What really sells this scene is when the mutt innocently whips its tongue out, licking its human teeth. This wasn't planned, by the way, meaning this pup gets full credit for devising one of the most disturbing moments in sci-fi history. Even though this sequence could have come across as unintentionally hilarious, it's the most chilling shot in the entire film. Number 7. Inside Jean Jacket in Nope Most unnerving shots in horror tend to be sudden, startling, loud, and gory. However, Nope's most stomach-churning moment does doesn't rely on any of these tactics. After rancher OJ Hayward discovers a UFO called Jean Jacket is abducting his horses, he uses a metal horse prop to lure it nearby. When Jean Jacket attempts to absorb the decoy, it's left heavily damaged. Enraged, Jean Jacket flies to a nearby theme park, sucking up all the attendees. The camera cuts to the inside of Jean Jacket, revealing no machinery or electronics whatsoever. While the screaming abductees are being pushed through throbbing appendages and pulsing organs, it becomes unmistakable unmistakably clear that Jean Jacket isn't a flying saucer, but a living organism. Once this detail registers, viewers are horrified to learn why Jean Jacket has abducted these people. It's not kidnapping them, it's eating them. The alien victims aren't just screaming out of fear, but because they're being digested. This revelation doesn't immediately click, since there are so many bizarre images throughout this sequence, but when the penny drops, the so-called abduction becomes infinitely scarier. Number 6. The Tunnel Monsters in the mouth of madness. There is such an abundance of 
of nightmare fuel and John Carpenter's The Mouth of Madness, it's hard to know where to start. The Tramp's double pupil eyes, the movie painting, the tentacle woman. Honestly, this entire list could have been filled with snippets from this cult classic without covering half the content. But there is one visual that rises to the top, the monsters in the tunnel. After protagonist John Trent enters a portal, he is stopped dead in his tracks upon seeing a throng of Lovecraftian beasts in the distance. Not wanting to be eaten alive, Trent sprints in the opposite direction, barely escaping with all his limbs intact. This scene instills a deep sense of fear despite the fact the monsters are barely visible. This scene is filmed with extreme close-ups and minimal lighting so there isn't a single clear shot of what is actually chasing Trent. Ironically, this decision makes these creatures more unnerving since In the Mouth of Madness explores metaphysics, dreamscapes and the otherworldly. It's fitting how the scariest monster happens to be the least comprehensible. For this reason, this scene stays with viewers despite the fact they can't explain or describe what they saw. Let us know what you think of our list so far and comment down below and while you're there drop us a cheeky like, share and subscribe too. Number 5. The Pig in Saw 3 Even though each Saw film has an ample amount of squished skulls, dismembered limbs and melted organs, Saw 3's gore is top tier. After watching the scenes involving the brain surgery sequence or the rack trap, no one is expected to sleep for a week. However, there's another moment that made the most hardcore horror fans gag. In the sequel, Jeff awakens to find himself an unwilling participant in one of the Jigsaw games. In this trial, Jeff has to decide whether to save people who were involved in the death of his son, Dylan. After entering a dilapidated hall, Jeff encounters Halden, the judge who gave Dylan's murderer a lenient sentence. Although Halden is chained inside a large vat container, it isn't immediately clear what fate has in store for him. When a nearby meat grinder turns on, it looks like Halden is to be shredded like Swiss cheese. Sadly, the trap is much grosser than that. Looking above, Jeff sees a conveyor belt bringing in a slew of pig carcasses. As they drop into the grinder, Jeff realizes Halden will drown in pig guts if he doesn't get a move on. Even though Halden survives, it's tough not to feel queasy while watching this scene, purely because of that slow motion shot of the first maggot infested swine. Number 5. I Pluck in Talk To Me Talk To Me revolves around an embalmed hand that allows anyone who holds it to communicate with spirits. While at a house party, Mia and her buddies decide to play with the enchanted limb. Mia is warned to hold the hand no longer than 90 seconds to avoid any side effects. When Mia's friend's brother Riley gives it a try, he holds the ghostly appendage too long, allowing the phantom to possess his body. Based on Talk To Me's premise, horror veterans saw this coming a mile away. Even though the setup is predictable, nobody is ready for the next moment. As the ghosts overtake Riley's mind, he begins slamming his skull into the table, causing blood to gush from his forehead. Just when it looks like things could not get much worse, Riley rams his fingers into his eye socket, attempting to pluck his own eyeballs out. The disgusting image is intensified exponentially due to the squelching sound while Riley digs his fingers in. Riley's friends grab him before he does the deed, but not before this vomit-inducing visual is seared into my mind and everyone else's. Number 3. Bo's Father in Bo is Afraid When a movie is as bonkers as Bo is Afraid, viewers might think they would eventually build up a resistance to it. But despite how wild Ari Aster's latest work is, nobody on the planet is ready for the climax. After Bo hears his mother Mona was killed in a freak accident, he embarks on an odyssey to reach her home. Arriving at the house, Bo's deranged mother reveals she's alive and then chastises Bo for not loving her enough. Furious, Mona locks her son in the attic with his father, who supposedly died the instant Bo was conceived. To his horror, Bo sees his dear old dad is what can only be described as a colossal, private, heart-shaped monster. While gazing at, like, all of it, it's borderline impossible for viewers not to yell, what am I watching? It goes without saying that Bo is Afraid is not a film that's supposed to be understood, but based on this nutty scene, there's no question it is a film that will never be forgotten. Number 2. Wishbone in Bone Tomahawk In Bone Tomahawk, Sheriff Hunt and his crew venture into the valley to rescue ranchers who have been kidnapped by a cannibalistic tribe called the Troglodytes. Immediately after finding the savages' cave, Hunt is stabbed and locked in a cell. To his surprise, he sees one of the ranchers, Nick, is still alive, but not for long. After the troglodytes unlock Nick's cell, they pull him out and strip him naked. Unable to break through his confines, Hunt helplessly watches the man-eating maniac scalp Nick before force-feeding it to him. As revolting as this moment is, it's nothing compared to what comes next. The cave dwellers then flip Nick upside down and split him open. The troglodytes that are holding Nick's legs begin pulling away, completely bisecting him. What makes this scene so brutal? 
brutal is how minimal the gore has been up until this point. Gruesome deaths regularly occur off screen. In those cases, because the camera cuts away before someone is shot or stabbed, it's almost like Bone Tomahawk is trying to avoid an R rating. As such, viewers are totally unprepared when they see poor Nick snapped in two like a wishbone. And number one, the subway in possession. In possession, there is a scene where a woman feeds her suitors to a tentacle monster before doing the deed with it. The most disturbing thing about this scene is that that's not the most disturbing scene. That honor belongs to the mind-scarring subway sequence. After getting off a train, Anna finds herself overcome with hysterics, laughing and screaming while she repeatedly slams herself into the walls. A grocery bag smashes open, causing eggs, milk and the other foods to smear onto the ground. Anna seems completely unfazed by this as she flops on the floor, slathering herself in fluids. After flaying her body around for three minutes straight in an almost unbroken shot, blood and other liquids begin seeping from Anna's offices. Acknowledging that she's having a miscarriage, Anna lets out a soul-stirring scream that will be heard again and again in viewers' nightmares. Even though the subject matter and content is horrific, what makes this scene so tragic is Isabella Adjani's career-defining performance. She holds her body with such uncontrolled ferocity, it's hard to believe she's acting. Although there are a lot of memories in possession that remain unexplained, there is one thing all viewers know for certain. Nobody will be the same after watching this harrowing scene.